Oh, mate. Are you, you going to have any of them? Oh, rip into them, mate. Rip it seems like you've already had fucking plenty. Yeah, no, I hope it's more of them. Oh, fuck. Blow wind. Blow wind. Like a bow. Mr. <laughs> bow jangles. A bow shackle. You want to be really cool. What's that from? The boo jackal. Oh, that was, uh, that was old mate your mate. Go, mate. Yeah. Uh, um, do you want to look cool? Well, a horror flick on doing this. Yeah, like, I... like blood's getting splattered all over the screen. Yeah. Like that. How cool would that look? That look real good. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we need a place like this. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Two OB guys. This is this has all been going the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just uh, this is our first Two OB, and this is exactly what you're going to expect. So, yep, not much of anything good. No, oh, well, sorry, maybe. Well, we're pretty much it's pretty much a Monday show just without the uh, no holes barred really, and yeah, it doesn't have to be maybe, golf related. Maybe not so much golf. Hmm. Or maybe more. Who or maybe knows? more. Who knows? It's whatever the hell decides to pop Depends up. Depends what's going on at the time. And at this time of the year, it's a little bit quiet because there's not a lot of golf sort of going on about the places there. No, but like you know, as so we're they're just starting to get into most of their seasons. We've obviously played here in Australia. Yep. We've, we've had our, you know, we've, we've had our summer of golf. Our summer of golf, but that's what. <sighs> yeah, they had a tournament, didn't they? They did. But um, let us know. Because the summer's pretty long on golf, isn't it? Our summer's like nine to ten months, isn't it? Isn't it too? Remember when they used to have the like? Do you remember Michael Campbell won the uh, three peat? Yeah, well, so this was the Australian Open, the PGA, and, and the, the Masters. Uh, Masters. Yep, and now the Masters is gone, hasn't it? The Australian Masters, sorry, we're not. Yeah, no, 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 the US Masters, mate. US Masters. But he did win your uh, Open, so that's okay. Did win the US Open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment below and if you want anything back here, like we're, we're considering having horror movies or porn playing, playing in the background. So if, if, if you're just listening to this, well then you're not going to know what we're talking about. But we're sitting in the Top Golf Swing Suite. At... With the big TV. I really like it. I'm sitting here watching it thinking, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> no, I'm thinking, no. I'm thinking if there was a good movie, I could just commentate to it. Yeah, well, you certainly yeah. would be talking. Yeah, so, and running down the road with a chainsaw is. Uh... Is old, is old Leatherface. So um, we're here, we're looking out at the village at Parkwood. Um, yes, and people looking in at us yep. like, like we're, now I know how monkeys in a cage. Fit. Caged animals, yeah. yeah you know, I'm just waiting, I reckon one of those dudes going to open up the door and just throw in a few peanuts and go, here boys. Yeah, choke here's, on them. Here's a couple of nuts for you. Choke what on them. Got? But um, no, look, great spot. Look, this would make a great studio. This, this would make a great studio, yeah. and <clears throat> and maybe we need to talk to Luke, and maybe we can get a, uh, you know, maybe we can he, he can sponsor us, and we can come down here and use the swing suite whenever. Yeah, it'd be pretty good. Like so, so, so this is new. Awesome. So again, people on the other side of the camera who yeah. are looking at us, yeah. me pointing to it, and those that are just yeah. listening, because because the TV behind us is just run on um, computer, isn't it? What? Sorry. It's just plugged into the computer, so so you you could play anything on that screen. Yeah. Yes. So it's just, we could, it's just we, a projector. We could play us. <laughs> do you want to? I reckon I could get up there and, and put it on. Yeah. No. But no. Because I've seen <laughs> what you've got stored on your computer. Yeah. Don't want to do that. It's naughty. But seriously, um. No. We, no we, it would be pretty we, cool. We were just talking about movies. Well, how about that? Here, you, you talk yeah. now. Oh, this is going to segue into into a movie because we've a movie. Well, because Rich has spoken about it, and I haven't seen it yet. He has given me his synopsis of synopsis. Jojo Rabbit, oh. a, a Taika Waititi um, directed movie. Taika Waititi, the mm. Kiwi, who done the Thor Ragnarok movie. Yep. Did, and uh, the boy, hunt, movie called Boy. Boy, Hunt for the Wilder People. Yep, and uh, oh, somewhere, somewhere in the shadows, or people in the shadows, or something like that, it was a sort of spoofy vampire. Sort oh, of yeah, it's a vampire one. Mm. Yeah, but I like him. He looks at the world a little bit different, and yeah, I like what he says about creativity. Mm. Well, talk about, talk about Jojo Rabbit. So, so that's what I was sort of getting at, and I'll see if we can get us up here, Richard. <laughs> Look, I, I think some. Some, some movies surprise you when you don't actually know too much about them. I thought it was just a really light-hearted comedy. Yes. And it's not. It's so, not. the kids did point out to me that it was a black comedy. Well, 
you know, I thought all comedies were sort of pretty black. It depends how you look at them. But it is one of the few movies that takes you through a roller coaster ride of emotions. It's happy, it's sad, it's joyful, it's confronting, it's, it takes you through everything. And the, the characters that he picked were all just perfect for the part. It's, it's quirky, it's, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it covers everything. Like, do you know, when you see, it, it's no boy in the striped pyjamas. No, right? but it's not meant to but, be, right? So when you look at that movie, that was intense, that movie, all the way through. There's no real light-hearted moments in it, right? Yeah. But I like, there's some little details of this movie that, mm. whether it's a coincidence that it happened or not, I, I really liked, it still deals with the whole issues of hate, right? It didn't skirt those issues. But you know what, it, 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 the, the movie drags you in to watch because it's fun and it's funny. Well, how can and, and Did you see what's on the background, know, mate? Sorry? Did you have a see what's on the background? Oh, nice. <laughs> Ah, oh, so that's Sophie Walker, Sarah Kemp. Just as you were saying something to uh, Sarah and Sophie there, and they cacked up laughing. But it... yep, I was telling them, oh, you used to be better looking. You used to have longer hair. Yeah, and they laughed and said, I don't think so. You, how could you look better looking yeah. now? I think that's what she said. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. How could you be better looking? Oh, look, she's over there too. Yeah, I know. Look at Sarah. I might bring that hat back. <laughs> I might even bring that shirt back. <laughs> that shirt. That's a nice shirt. Yes, it might. I'm bringing that. I'm bringing that shirt back. So Let's again, th those that are listening, yeah. this is the vlog we done <coughs> at uh, RACV Royal Pines. Yep. Uh, with Conrad, Richo, Sarah Kemp, uh, yeah. ALPG player and yep. European tour player, yep. as well as Sophie Walker, who's on the LET. Yes. So the European ladies tour, ladies European tour. No, very good. Do you know, you're saying about some of those movies and stuff. Oh, I like some stuff that pushes some boundaries and tries to make it a bit different. We've tried to do a few different things and we'd like to do some more stuff and try some different stuff because that's what sort of life's about. You can't just keep punching out the same thing. Well, it'd be like, very interesting. Yeah, we he, spoke he about different that, angles read, and stuff. He read that book in, in like 2011 <clears> and, and he tried to get the money. Right? And they said, how'd you get the money? He said, well, he goes, everyone thinks you just go and ask for it. And he said, I went and asked for it. Yeah, and that didn't work, so... Uh... He said, and eventually... And it took like 2018, they rang him and said, you know what, we think this is fantastic, we're going to back you. And he went, back me where? <laughs> yeah, where? <laughs> so he didn't, and he went, they went, no, 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 with the money. And yeah. he made the film, the, the, the film is fantastic. Like, you know, I say now, I really hate to stop short of, of saying, because you know, everyone, everything that comes out, it doesn't matter, we test drivers, oh, it's the greatest driver ever until next year, and then mm. that's the greatest driver. Mm. Do you know, I really like to go, this is just, this is, this is this product, yeah. and it's fantastic. Do you know what? That as a movie was a fantastic movie. It was a really great movie. And, and all, the characters in it, you really take to a lot of them. Yes. It's really, really great movie. W worthwhile looking at it. And it doesn't take anything away from any other movies. No, uh, but see, 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 the thing is, like, just what you were sort of talking about <clears throat> in reading comments, like you enjoy reading comments of people who post certain yes, things like that. Yes, even ones about yourself. Yeah, of course you do. I, I don't blame you. But when, sort of when it comes down to it, so if you don't know what Jojo Rabbit is, there is Hitler is involved in the movie, right? Yes. In a small role. It's not really all about Hitler and it's not about sort no, of... No, it's funny because he, he's a character in the movie, but he's not actually Hitler. Yes. So, okay, cool. So, so, so it's a 10-year-old boy's imagination that Hitler is his friend. Cool. And if you see the movie, you'll see why Hitler is like that. Because mm, yeah. you can relate to someone else that's in the movie. When you say you'll, yeah. you'll well, I haven't understand. seen it, so, so I will. But, so it'll be very good. But the issue is, people get on to their own little high horse about. As soon as you mention Hitler, uh, climate change, yes, uh, Trump, and all of this shit, everything then has to be. Oh, I don't like Trump, or global warming's real, and you're you're a climate denier if you don't believe it, or conspiracy theories, or whatever the hell it is. You hear Hitler and you go, well, that's just genocide and it's horrible. And you're right, genocide and horrible and, and is bad, but... You know, they, they sort of bag him for, for the portrayal of, of Hitler, right? But it, it's not Hitler. This is, this is someone's imaginary friend. So it's not actually Hitler. But there's been plenty of movies that have made fun of it. There, there's, there's one um, back from the dead. Adolf mm. Hitler wakes up 
and he's exactly oh, the same as what did. he is in modern time. Mm. And then he starts wandering around. They think he's the greatest comedian ever. They go, how good's this bloke? He's so funny. And he's just like Adolf Hitler, not realising that it actually is. Right. So the, the, there's a movie <laughs> where they, they've used it for a funny role and everything else. So it's not like there's... To see him as being funny, is it? And it doesn't take anything away from anything that ever happened. Yeah, no, no, hundred like, percent. And, and and the movie certainly shows that. I, I thought they that what what I really liked was that the boy in striped pajamas. You watch it once and you go, oh, that was really confronting and and you know sad. But it's real. Yeah. Jojo Rabbit drags you in by the comedy, but yeah. you still get the same. Well, you sort of get Morals something there, story right? story out of it. But heaps of people would, like I said, there's so much... Because the film rollercoaster right through all this. Like, you know, the people that were in it, as soon as they read the script, went, oh, I've got to be part of this. And, and yeah. they're all fantastic, you know. And people can pull apart all movies. You know, I really hate... They go, oh, the accent wasn't quite right and this and that and everything else. And you go, well, whatever, I don't take much notice. Like, they were really funny. Rebel Wilson, absolutely funny. Beautiful she was, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a nude scene I've heard. I was hoping, but uh, <laughs> I can tell you now, unfortunately, <clears throat> no, there's not. Did Only in, because Jojo and I have very good imaginations. Oh, so you, so so you imagine? So my imaginary friend was... Rebel Wilson nude. Close. Comment, like, again, if, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below on sort of your favourite sort of but movie or even movies that are maybe pushing a, a boundary. Well, see, it's the same thing. So... so it depends who you read with 1917. Yes. And I haven't seen that either. No, I haven't it was seen it. filmed in one sort of flowing motion. It was very different. Some people were saying it was a bit disjointed or whatever. But do you well, know... You, have you, you read, seen Birdman? You read one? No. no. You haven't seen Birdman? No. no. Okay. No. They um, made... You are the Birdman. It, it was all there. They'll after you made Batman. Batman, yeah. But, I, I multiplicity, I know, think. People jump in and go, do you know what... Absolutely fantastic movie, yep. and other people are going, yeah, no, nah, it was awful. Some people said it was better than Saving Private Ryan, which was yeah. historically very correct Pretty up accurate. until they got off the bench. And then they, fair had, call. they had a little bit of Lee Wayne license after that. Yeah, fair call. But before man. that, I was saying the only thing that wasn't landing on the beach there was uh, the landing, the landing craft. Yes. Save so a private Ryan, the bloke was that was uh, piling it in or driving it in was uh, an American. And I was saying they were, they were all manned by the British. Fair call. So that was the only thing that they said wasn't. They were saying uh, all of them been sick on the way in. That would be... Wasn't really nerves. Um, they fed all those boys a big meal on the boats before they sent them on their way over the choppy seas. And yes, so most of those boys were actually physically yeah, just like Ill, Ill from, from well, well, the physicalness the, of the, the world. weather was pretty ordinary that day. There was there was plans that we were going to abandon and stuff. So, but yes, but yes, some great movies. Well, this I is, love this movies. Is, well, this is the thing. Like, we, we can talk about movies. We can talk about anything, and, and yeah. we're just sort of going to flow in whatever direction you know things decide. Whatever you want things decide to head to. Movies will be, probably be banned soon with everything else. It seems like it. Like, so it seems like in, in the world we're living in is like 1917, even though it's sort of a factual telling. Let's go back before that. Well, sorry. Even 1917, the movie, listen to me before you cut me off, is... You, <laughs> I think we're going to go back to witches. Where they just... Do you know what? Okay. Do, okay. If any, you, you anything no one can, likes, I'll just drag you outside and just... Do you know you why up. potentially that the witch trials happened? Why they? At happened? least in Salem. Salem witch trials. I think it was just a way to get rid of women, people they didn't like. To a point, but also they think that there was a certain early frost which made the bread at the time mouldy. Ah, so And so you were eating whatever this mould was. So they all went a bit nuts. They hallucinate. They were literally hallucinating. What, what, whatever, whatever the yep. um, the mould is, you're hallucinating, and then of course your missus starts going off at you. And then you go and burn it, and like, and and then of course, if if she said, look into that. I mean, I haven't looked into it enough. I've just heard it. So, do your own research. 
Well, that's, if you that's wish to. pretty well what we do. Like anything we don't like or different or we can't understand. Well, that's it. It's instantly wrong or yeah. bad. See, that, yeah. that's what annoys me with this world is the fact that I'm telling you that I could completely be bullshitting and so far from the truth, it's not funny. What's that? It's what, well, in everything I say, which is generally correct. But what I'm saying is that about the, the witch trials, Salem witch trials. They're not all wrong. I mean, you know, really? when, I, when I said, mate, I can carry that water to 280, and you said, no, you can't. <laughs> You were right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Because it went splosh. At yeah. about 180. <laughs> but, but, but I think the, the big thing is, is like nobody does their own little bit of research, right? So I, of Avi yeah. Yemeni. So Avi Yemeni is an Australian, I think he's Australian born Israeli Jew. Is that correct? He's Australian. Okay, no, no, no. no yeah, I'm no, fine. No, I, I, it's I just agree. because people will yeah, want no, to hear no. some labels. Avi Yemeni has a YouTube channel. He's yeah. probably a little bit conservative in comparison to some, but he did say that there was 180 arrests. And I'm, and I'm telling at work, a fellow who is slightly more left-leaning and about climate change and then arson and, and undergrowth and all this sort of stuff in regards to our fires. And at the end of the day, the bush is on fire and it's bad. It's bad for the animals, it's bad for everything, right? I said that based on some research or studies or some reports, 180 people alone have been arrested in New South Wales for arson. For, uh, for arson. And Arnie did say, Arvi, Arvi, Arvi did say that, well, why don't we just get them to change their names to climate change? And then, <laughs> and then we could say that it is climate change. Yeah. I think, and that was pretty funny. I really I know, that. No, he's, he's, he's a funny Some people dude. didn't think it was very. Of funny. course they did. Right, it made, even went, what Jeremy Clarkson said, "Have a look at that drone footage." Just quietly, look at that. I went, "That's pretty funny, mate." Because oh, I don't know, mine is pretty funny. I, look, I, I believe that everyone should put their opinion across. Yes, and I'm more than happy with that. Or saying, you know, I don't care. People can go. I don't support the channel because Rich O's mm. a knob. That's fair enough. You can say whatever you want. Usually they say but that you don't me, have mate. the right to come and put thousands of protests on the golf course so, so to stop me playing. Cancel culture type thing. Yeah, well, cancel culture. Look, what? Hang on, we'll, we'll get into that. I, 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 I was telling fact, your mate I, Phil, and I Phil love, goes, "That's bullshit." He goes, "There was only there was I oh, read three reports that there were only there was only a small amount of people who were charged for arson." Yeah, some indications. I don't think they like to make too big a deal of it because um, it's on. People, this, people don't like it much, do they? This is what like, I mean. And, like, and what, they find, what is they it? They find it hard, hard to accept that people would do that. Of course, but at the end of the day, if people... It was definitely one that was charged was, was a fireman himself. And, and, if 180 and, people have been arrested, well, then they've been arrested, right? You would think so. It, but it's just like... But you're right, cancer culture. Well... Cancel culture is a, is an absolute joke, right? Do I, my, look, you you can dislike us and anything else. That's fine, but just like you said, mm. you have the right to protest potentially. Like I don't mind that, but if you yeah. are physically trying to stop somebody from doing what they want to do, I think there's protest, and there's and, and in the end, you don't have to accept everything that everyone says. Of course, but you can't then just. That, that's why I see a lot of these protests and stuff where they're just abusing people. What numbers were on that, mate? 7,400 spin. That's pretty good. That's you. The, do you know what I mean? Like, Gee, you look good on the big screen. I look so hot, I nearly fell in love with myself. <laughs> um, Sorry, we're looking at the screen behind yeah. us if you're just watching yeah. it on. Oh. Oh no, I listen to it. I didn't realise how good I made those girls look like. Oh mate. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey Kempi, if you're watching. Yeah, yeah, Sophie, you know. You, 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 know, you, you she's she's all the way in England, she won't be able to hit me from there. That's right. Well look, there's a hand there. I think it's it looks like my head. It, it's just the English election mm. and there's a young girl going off and protesting mm. and she goes you can swear. Boris is nothing but like you a could, monster. You could, no, I don't need you, you swear. Because the first part of it was... You could use what you she know, said. She just goes, he was nothing but a monster and I hope he dies a horrible death. Well, I'm happy for people to say, I don't like him, I think he's a bad Prime Minister and I hate his policies yep. and everything else. And this, But you're coming out just abusing people 
I, I, I just don't quite get that. All, all the same, yeah. isn't it funny? So, you know, I, I do watch a lot of movies and a lot of history stuff, mm-hmm. and, you know, the, the, there's one word that sums up all this stuff. Everyone can change around, and people go, you know, you're racist and you're this and that and everything else. It just comes down to hate. Yeah. So you know, no matter what it I'm is. I'm a vegan, you and you don't won't accept that, and you won't change to that. So I hate you, mm. and uh, I keep, keep hearing all the same. You don't like what I like, so you can die. Well, it's that, yes, or, or it's just you don't like what I like, so you I'm going to call you a bigot and all these names under the you sun. You see a lot of these people, and they look so angry, oh. like over. Just well, relax I don't a little think bit. It appears to be much. Just relax a bit. Cool. Don't don't eat meat. That's fine. Be like we gave Softy a little bit of shit for being a vegan, vegan, but there was at the end of the day, it was just a little bit of poke and fun at, right? It would we meant nothing by it because why? He can do whatever he wants, just like you do whatever you want, and I can supposedly he, think what I can do with whatever I want. He, he poked his back. Of course he did. And and now for those who do not know, Peter Pan, who is on YouTube again, whatever, he's not a vegan anymore. Does is that bad? Is that good? I, I, I don't know. No, so he's still not eating. No, no, no. He's meat not eating products. Correct. So, well, sorry, so he's still not eating. He's not eating meat. I don't meat. believe. Sorry, he's definitely not eating beef and chicken, whatever else. But I beef. think he's having eggs. Animal, and I think he's animal having animal products is okay. I think he's having eggs. So I think he's having cheese eggs, and stuff. Yeah. Cheese, milk. Yeah. He can have yeah. milk. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I mean, you should be able to choose or change whatever you do. Just don't hide it, right? Like, don't, don't and don't hide behind something else. No, and I look, Joe. You know, it's people's choices. Like I said, there's lots of terrible things going on in the world. Like I said, there's still plenty of hate around the place. Mm. It just seems like we've just shifted it. Mm. Because you know what? I really want to hate people, but I, I can't just hate black people because they'll be racist. Yeah. So you know what? I'll just hate people that don't like what Me, I like or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean that's fair. It that's, seems to be what it is. But that's effectively it's like what it is. I need to find something to hate. I need to find an excuse to hate people because, I don't know, I'm just poor. Well, 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 I keep saying that it, it, times are so easy, times are so simple, that at the end of the day, we need something to worry about. And I mean, if depending on what you believe from an evolutionary standpoint or, or whatever, but we've always been in tribes, we've always been sort of worried about finding food. We've always been worried about hiding from animals. We've always been worried about other tribes. We've always been... So at the end of the day, we then start to have to worry about something else. Are you worried? I'm, no, I'm trying not to be. I'm worried that this, this behind here um, is when Kempi hit a tee shot and you, and you said, oh, well, you hit like a girl. Yeah, she got me back. Yep. When she ploughed one past me. That's right. Is that my swing there? <laughs> oh, She's my swing. Jeez, Conrad good. looks good. I'd like to catch up with Conrad, actually. We should, because he's still, he's back for a little bit, isn't he? Yeah. Before he goes back to college. How about this swing? Just get out of the way, mate. There, there should be a shot tracer on. Or you're just straight into it. Or maybe I didn't put it up. Whatever. But let's look at this. Again, if, if, if you're just listening to this, it's going to be boring as batshit. But, uh... She's gone. Yep. Got him. And you just go, take that. Yep. Yeah, look at him. Look at this thing. It's just oh, dead straight. That. That's, that's a bullet. Yeah. And <laughs> you just give it a take that. Hey, get that in here. Get that in here. Hey. But yeah, I just. I've got a question for you. Oh, it better be oh, yours. Hey, well, I know they call it Mr. Universe, but how come no one ever from the. except from Earth's ever won it? Shouldn't it be called Mr. Earthiverse? <laughs> Earthiverse? Oh, I don't know, Mr. Earth? Or just Mr. Earth? Because really, they call it Mr. Universe, but really. Why don't you just call it People Earth? Well. Then? Or no m- one from outside of Earth has ever. So really. Because Earth isn't the or universe, Or Zer, is it? Because Earth's not universe. the universe, is it? Really? No, you are correct. Like, it just seems to me to be a funny name. So the, uni- so the universe is everything. Well, is that that it, it used to be the size of a pin head and then suddenly it well, exploded? Well, we found... Well, I don't know. We found lots uh, of supposed, No, 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 stop. That, 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 that's what it's supposed to be. Is it? It's supposed to be at some stage, whenever it was, seven plus billion years ago, it was meant to be, the whole universe was the size of a pinhead. So it was the size of a pinhead. And then suddenly the Big Bang happened and here we are, like, sorry, not here we are, but here the whole universe is. 
in the infinite vastness of what it is. Yep. Do you get infinite? Like in infinity, we can't get, right? Can't get it. No, no, no. In your head, you, you literally can't fathom that. No, because it's... It's silly. I know. Yeah. And infinity is silly when you think about it. Well, there's millions of planets out there. I mean, look at all the characters in Star Wars. What? Where do they come from? The cantina scene. planets. Yeah. You reckon, like... I don't know. I'd love to go to Planet Wookiee. <laughs> Richo and the Wookiee make Nookie. I'd marry all the people for sure. Would you... Would you shave the Wookiee down? No. Do you shave the Wookiee down? No. <laughs> I'd leave it just like it. Uh, just natural. Huh? As natural oh, as it gets. Imagine in winter it'd be so nice. <laughs> so comfortable hey, to sink it? your face in. Uh, <laughs> hey? Oh, I keep mate. saying that it's not quite right. But oh. I said, well, you know, I don't know. I mean, you imagine having a seven-year-old girlfriend. Who's, who's ever going to pick on you? I don't know. Well. No one. You do enjoy the climb, um, though. So I suppose you imagine that's must fair play call. golf. And I say, mate, my ball's further than yours after a kick at 20 past yours. And you go, you can't do Good that. Stuff. And I'll say, have a chat with my girlfriend. And you'll go, mate, that's a fair shot. Carry on. You're not going to fight her. Oh, maybe once. Nah, once. Don't be the last time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Tough, though, at least movies, you'd give mate. it a go. Well, they live to be over 250 years old. I so. know. Well, geez, we've had... Everyone's dead in Star Wars. So you saw Star Wars? Yep. And in, enjoyed it? Oh, look. It was for what it is, right? I think they are what they are. Look, mm. do you know what? I love movies. I'm always taking them as just what they are. Do you know what? It's a whole saga and it changes and, you know, like life and everything else. And oh, I thought they were good. No, they were solid. Mm. Favourite Star Wars movie out of the nine? Oh, look, it's hard to go past the original, I suppose, because it was the new original. and different, and that was the first introduction of all those do, characters. Do, 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 yeah. yeah, and favorite, of course, favorite, the music. Favourite Bond movie? Bond. 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 Favourite Bond movie? Oh, God. I'm just going to go through it. Favourite Godfather? Favourite um, Avengers movie? Avengers movie? Yeah, I mean, or your, your Marvel superhero movies? Oh, I mean. The original Iron Man? Original Iron Man. Yeah. So it's the Iron Man number one where yeah. he goes into the desert and he's blowing stuff up and he gets captured. Yeah, he did a lot of Iron Man. Yeah. It was pretty okay. good. Captain America was not too bad, but... Yeah. Interesting. It's had to go past Thor. Yeah, but you, you are Thor from the Avengers part two, right? Yeah, sure. No, I think That's that you. Another, <laughs> the Rock Man. Taka with Titi. Tika with Titi. The, um... Let's say Bond. Bond. What's his name? It was pretty good. Mate. Daniel Craig. So yeah, I could tell you. Uh, oh. Force Awakens. Favorite Star Wars. I mean, I like all the other Star Wars, but Force oh, Awakens was mint. One. Was mint. Yeah. So that's number. What's that? Number seven. In in the episodes. Favorite Bond. Casino Royale. Daniel Craig. The first one that Daniel Craig did. Yeah, that was. That, that's the one I was seeing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just it just was yeah. rock. But I did solid. like Sean. You, yeah, of course he, you did. No, he was he was good. Of course you did. I think a lot of people like Sean Connery. Yeah, I don't know. Like for, for for me, the most believable Bond has to be Daniel Craig. You know what I mean? Fit yeah, no, 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 I, I I agree. I, I I think they started going in that right direction with, like I said, Sean Connery was was more believable than Timothy Dalton. <laughs> yeah, Roger Moore was good. Roger Moore was okay. But George Lazenby. Yeah. Yeah, love that. It was a bit of shit off. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I just don't know. I, at, no. the, at the end of the day, there's so many movies out there and, yeah, they are all good. I think what comedy has in... Comedy and movies have is an expression of creativity that gets us away from everyday life, even though it may have and, everyday life and stuff in it. And they're supposed to. And, and I, I understand plenty of movies have some stories and... And some messages to get across, right? And I think there's some good message about 
may be more acceptable to people and showing a little bit more tolerance and less hate and all sorts of stuff. And that's the move that need to get across, but they still need to be entertained. Joe, it's the way it is. I like some movies that have a story to them, mm. um, but you know, I do like some movies that are a bit different. I, I'm thinking, look, I enjoyed Terminator, I enjoyed the Star Wars movie, Jojo Rabbit. I don't think I've seen anything that sat with me for a few days after watching it, right? I would say the last one was probably Brightburn. Yeah, not right. wrong, just quietly. Because you can go back further. you got to remember Born in Striped Pajamas, So Private Ryan, all those movies are pretty old. But I'm but looking at so recent movies. history. So Brightburn was definitely one where I sat back and went, oh, oh, that was like different. It was slightly different, but not, you know what I mean? It was just yeah. a slightly different take I on I think the next movie past that that I, I really enjoyed was, was probably um, Great Showman. That, that was not too bad. See, it, with Jojo Rabbit, it takes you through every emotion. Right. Right? Um, Greatest Showman takes you through a few. Well, it, take, it takes you through emotions of different ways. Yes, but not quite the same. But it, it, but it didn't very take you into that sort of dark... My, my kids uh, went and saw Cats. In, in, in where James Corden looks like a pussy. No. The cat, <laughs> Did you? Whatever, oh, sorry. Whatever the go, movie, well, you, the cat's you, around. You, you um, go on that and we'll talk about Ricky Gervais. <laughs> a couple of them reckon that uh, it was good, but I'm not too sure whether they've taken the Mickey out of me. Uh, one of my boys, Steve, he's 12. He decided to go. Go. I said, what'd you think of that? Um, I love the dancing. I think he described it as the worst movie he'd ever seen. So... The reviews were that. A couple thought it was... Decent enough. And okay. The other was crap. And the other thought, yep, I can't believe... I'm not sure how I got conned into going and seeing that. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. If you like cats. And the only problem is, the girls that really enjoyed it, everywhere we go now, because gone in the old days when you had a CD player or a tape deck in your car, right... Now, if they just Bluetooth it through the thing. What's Bluetooth? Oh, whatever the fuck they do it through. But oh, all, all <laughs> How on, do they Bluetooth? They just play the soundtrack everywhere we drive. I'm going to turn it off, please. It's doing me head in. I can't remember what it's like. It's not as bad as... Hey? As what? Going to take my horse <laughs> <laughs> road ride till I can't no more. Like, stop it, stop. We're going to get copyrighted because they said it exactly like it. <laughs> do you know, it's funny, isn't it? Like with songs, every now and then, like, you, know, you, you go back on it. You remember the old song? Hey, Margarita. <laughs> yeah, oh, the Margarita? Mate, they just get in your head or they just drive you nuts. Do you know what I like doing when I work with Wade? I like, I like to sing a really shitty song. Like what? Uh, like a, whatever comes on, it doesn't matter. You know, oh, I will always love you. It gets in his head. Right? And by the end of the day... Cause You're if, right, mate. Yeah, Get, cause, water cause if I, gets in his head, let alone bloody yeah, anything else. So if I sing the song enough, I always love to pick a really shitty song, right? If I sing it enough during the day, by the end of the day, he goes... He goes, oh... He starts up, he starts he goes, up. He goes, oh, mate, go get that song out of my head, you prick. Old Town Road was one that got stuck in my head for quite a while. Uh, and it's all because of you showing me people dancing around to Old Town Road and then you were doing it yeah, yourself. Yeah, so. what else was there? Oh, there's... Oh, there's always... There's a song comes out like every couple of years, isn't it? Mm. You know, and you just go, oh, God. And it's just the whole beat and the song and you just think... Gets a bit catchy. Yeah. It's like, let's go. Um, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I, I quite often sing. Ricky Gervais. Do you sing when you're out? Um, all the time. I do too. But I shouldn't though. Apparently, some of the songs are saying are inappropriate. That Generally inappropriate, and it's more inappropriate in the you fact that Tex it's... Mex. He saying is that racist? No, he's saying I don't want no more from a big fat woman. Apparently, it's not politically correct anymore to sing it in the shopping centres. That's what the kids tell me. First, I've heard of it. They won't take me. Your kids are too I politically correct. This is the issue with this world. I These kids them. need the. 
I asked him, can I go to the discos with him? No. The discos? <laughs> oh, sorry. That, no, that was the reason why. Oh. <laughs> That's the reason why they won't take me, because I keep calling them discos. Yeah. <laughs> that has to be one of them. <laughs> sorry, nightclubs, nightclubs. Do you know what I said? Oh, look, I'd love to go. And they go, no. Nah. You've only got one child that is, that is over the age of 18 anyway. Yeah, I well, know. The others won't take me either. You, no, I well, I mean, you need fake IDs, and I mean, I know you have a couple, so you probably Mate, should, you know, just right. in case you get caught. Oh, yeah, well, when you went you, to your first disco. Oh, no, no, no school discos and stuff. Hey? Oh, yeah, fair call. Yeah? Yeah, fair call. Look, look the old Ben, ben Hill one. Well, that, 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 that. Well, the girl goes, how old are you, mate? He goes, not sure if I'm five or six. She goes, you got to... You, Go, oh, yeah, mate. Do, do you drink? And he goes, nah. Do you smoke? He goes, nah. <laughs> you got a girlfriend? He goes, nah. She goes, in your five. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair call. But yeah. Benny Hill was funny. Benny Hill goes, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he was funny. Sorry, he's politically correct these days. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to call females Sheilas. You're not, allowed, you're not allowed to call them Sheilas. You're not allowed to call them Love. Who said that? They'll, they'll get annoyed. Who? I do. I know you do, mate, and they yeah, cringe. Nah, yeah, no, I don't care. No, I don't know. I, I, I know, but I see, like this is... work. What are you Sheila's up to? Of course you do. You just do it for a stir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're right. Yeah. Those nice ladies we met on the golf course today, that wouldn't mind being called Sheila's. I don't I know. No, no, no. You said love, didn't you? Yeah, yeah of course I love. And she'd give me a smile. And she'd give you a... She'd give me a little... You know, <laughs> wink. That happens. Oh, mate, it does. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They love it. Well, I said, "Get out, you young young ladies." And they, oh, oh stop it! Yeah, mine wants to be called something not. Okay, you. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it funny? Like, do you know, you uh, can be, you can be ugly, but do you know, someone goes, "Jesus, mate, you're Jesus, a, look you're at her right there. You're a good looking bloke." You're like, oh, Jesus. Okay, what do you want? So everyone wants to be called opposite of what they are. Huh. So what are you saying? It's opposite. Well, I'm an ugly dude. It's nice to be called Spunk. <laughs> Who calls you a Spunk? Spunk. Uh, no, when, well, when, no one uses When have you been called that, a Spunk or well, when have you been offered something that was you a Spunk? I think the last, time I, to, the last time I went to a disco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be about right. Because all these words change and bits and pieces and stuff like that. I love to go spank around and do dancing at one of those God. nightclubs. Is that what they're called? Do, do we need to do a video of They even of play old time. Shields? They even play old time road, apparently. But, well, that's not... I would tell they'd probably wouldn't play a lot of music I like. You like everything. You've got an eclectic take in, taste in music. Oh, I said, oh, I said, I love it. I said, what, they even play Midnight Oil? They go, yeah, they do a bit now and then. I go, oh. <laughs> <They go. laughs> Your eyes light up. And they said, and that's why we wouldn't take you. Do it because you would, you would be doing the Peter Garrett. Yeah. So, so Ricky Gervais. So he was he was at the Golden yeah, Globes. Um, I hopefully people who who are hearing this and are watching this. Yep. Hopefully they saw it. Now, a lot of people, including Tom Hanks, was very offended. Did you see his face carrying on the whole time? Yeah. Of everything he said. So this is what I mean by movies and comedy and everything. There should be some leeway, and people shouldn't be so friggin' soft. But it's. Yeah. A goddamn joke. Even me saying goddamn could be sorry, sorry. But that, you know what I mean? It, it's a bloody joke. Well, that's right. Isn't that what it is? It's meant to be edgy. It's meant to make you go, oh, I don't know if I should laugh at that or I should be offended by that. But at the end of the day, it's a comedian saying it, so you should laugh, even though you feel like You're I should laugh. You're giving more leeway by actually going the other way. By going, I'm so offended by that. It actually gives it more leeway and more people talk about it. More people talk about so it. So if you actually laughed at all, if it, it'd just be said and done. That's and, why it's and comedy. people would move on. It's like, ha, ha, ha. Like, and leave it as that. Tom Hanks has got, ooh, his sort of face. is like, ugh, just, you know, I always like the same thing. Look, I'm sorry I offended you people. I'll get the rest of you next time <laughs> around. <laughs> you should be a comedian. <laughs> because that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you get everyone. Sorry. Yeah, well, you don't. You don't want to discriminate. I think there's there's, there's out and out stuff that's that's disrespectful. No, no, no you, you're hundred percent right. And, you... and stuff like that. So I don't necessarily think, but you can't take everything. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing. You get plenty of things. 
look, I love the people having some banter and have a go up my swing and everything else because of where it's coming from. And it's funny, it doesn't matter, you deep down you might be serious and go, well, that is crap. It's the people who just come straight out and just go, ah, yeah, shit. Do you want, that's not really that funny. Yeah, yeah. But we, there's been some really funny ones, hasn't there? Of course. Like, if you look at it and go, oh, that's really clever. You still had a dig at me, you still had a go at me, but it's funny. Of course. Because we'll say, hey, did you see that comment? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, we'll always look at the comments. And, and then and you'll go, that's clever. But just coming in and go, you're shit. You're just fact. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you're just shit. You should just do this. You should just. It's yeah. like, no, 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 no. Yeah, you I shouldn't. Just, no, no. no and, but and thanks, for, I, thanks, for, thanks for saying something. Yeah, I just like the ones that, you know, like, oh, I don't know, make it clever. Do you know? Yeah. Ricky Gervais is pretty. Oh, look, look. It does happen when you get older. I think you get a little less tolerant. I think you get a little bit more likely just to say, well, stuff it. Sometimes. Like I yeah, said, but why is that? If you ever want to see a great series, mm. that Afterlife is fantastic with Ricky Gervais. And I was never a Ricky Gervais fan, mm. right? And I told you that before. Mm. But Joe, you know, I certainly changed a little bit. And I think that, you know, he, he is pretty funny. But, yeah. but it's like a lot of stuff, isn't it? Like, yeah, you'll see some people in, you know, one movie and you'll go, yeah, it's not really that funny. And then you'll mm. see them in something else and you'll go, actually, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Like, um, he's, he's funny. Uh, Afterlife's very good, I, I think that. Um, and the way the world's going, we're going to have a core of these people who are just going to go, do you know what, I'm, I'm not particularly happy with that. You know, everyone's mm. got rights. Well, that's cool as long as we've all got them. Yes. Or otherwise, it's just certain people that have them. And and you know you're no better than anyone else that's come before us. But you're see, no better than the Romans, the English that slaughtered everyone. Yeah. Friggin' Nazis. The Catholics everyone. have stolen everything. And you stifle yeah. everything that everyone needs to say. This is how every one of those previous places have started don't like what you say so I will just destroy you yep. I don't think that's necessarily right no no so no I, so if you want to eat meat eat meat if you want to chase chickens around <laughs> chase chickens around I don't want as long as you're not doing something that is grossly wrong but see this is what I this is what I don't care like I think John Lennon was close to right with you know so all we need is love right do we well yeah. it's slightly better than hate love hope and faith Love, hope, and faith. That's what I said. That the world. That's what they always say. The world runs on. I think hope, love, hope, yeah. hope, and faith are one of those things. So people do need, like, hope for a better future, hope for a better tomorrow, hope. Like you need something to live for. Yeah. I hope my flowers grow and give me fruit. Yes. Like, or you know what I mean? Like, so everyone needs some hope. Hope tomorrow I play a bit of golf. Like. So, yeah. so hope and faith is sort of intertwined and love. Everyone needs love. All these people say, no, I can live by myself, I don't need it. You know, but ultimately, ultimately, we need other company, mm. everyone wants to be loved. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're yeah, down to five right. minutes on this memory card, so right. um, hopefully it flicks over as my, continuous, but that's okay. Because my kids always ask me, I will say, you know, is there anything you do over again? I said, well, you know, had six children, and next time, I'd like one that loved me. That night in the back of the station <laughs> wagon, like, I might have... Uh, <laughs> if I had realised how hard it was to have, have a child that loved me, I wouldn't have bothered starting. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Come nah. on, kids, love your father a bit more. Nah, they're, they're yeah, all right. they're all right. They're all right, they're good kids. But, um... You're right. That's actually a good little conversation point. Is there anything that you would change? You know what I mean? I think it's a hard one because then if you believe in the butterfly effect, right, so that you change this, then that changes, then that changes. Well, like it's a wonderful life. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. yeah. Where, where he came down, where he said, I wish I'd never been born. He went, all right, That's cool. Right. So he showed him what his life was would have been like. Well, he showed him what life would have been like. Life would have been like. If he had never been there. So yes. all these people he cared for, their That's lives were completely different. Yeah, correct. And in the end, he went, oh, send me back. 
Well, again, so so that movie, The Butterfly Effect, is sort of interesting. Again, it's a theory, yeah. right? Yeah. So The Butterfly Effect. So, again, you change something here, it changes something there. Not really. I think I've had a pretty good life. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's sort of a hard no, one to... I don't to... think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Probably a lot You've been in any accidents? Well, like, as in, you were, I mean, this is an accident. It's a car <laughs> crash happening <laughs> as um, we're going along. Oh, mate, that's one of your favourite songs. Accidents happen now and again. You've never seen it. Like never Thomas heard. Ever. Thomas. No, I've got no. the footage of Benny singing it on guitar. I bet you do. Tell you what it is. Accidents happen now and again. Mate, I thought you were going to sing that. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. in the 70s. Love Thomas the Tank Engine. I watched it the other day with the kids, oh, actually. Mate, it's, bloody solid. Love it's different, though. Fat Control's not so fat, he's sort of there, he's, he's the oh, boss. Go, 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 get the old videos out. Yeah, that's better, because Thomas is slightly more effeminate than he was back in the day. Was he? A little bit. Oh, I haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Things changing. A li- well... Fluid gender. Everything's changing. Fluid gender. What's your favourite gender? Hey? What's your favourite gender? Astrogender. Astrogender. Yeah. Mine's bare gender. No, no, mine's astro, because I sort of remind myself with the stars. What sort of star? So no no so the, so, the so, one the bookies <laughs> <laughs> so 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 is that aligning yourself with a star sign? No no stars stars no look, you align yourself with stars stars like I, stars I, I, as in look sun. I don't what I don't get that. So you align yourself in with other the words belt. because I'm a man of the universe. So technically I'm the only one that could have won Mr. Universe. <laughs> well, so, so, so does that mean that if you are astrogender, that you can be Mr. Universe? Yeah, that's what you're saying, right? Yeah. That's, that's as close as you're going to get. I know, it's all very confusing when you get sort of the nitty gritty of the whole thing. Life used to be a lot more simple. Now, what? Now, okay, people do say that. And, and they also say that there's not enough time in the day and all that sort of stuff. Where does that come from? Well, you know what I mean? So, where does. Oh, there's, there's I think there's a lot of stuff day. that distracts us and, and and seems to make our days go a lot quicker. Like you have a look, like you know, you can do some stuff like you start looking at stuff on your phone or on the internet and bits and pieces. It chews up times really quickly. Like how many times have you yeah. been doing something and you're looking for something or you're watching some stuff? Yeah, you, know, you, you like well, saying especially YouTube's a prime one. So you watch one show and you get feeds of similar shows. You start watching them and then suddenly you go, I've been watching this for like three hours. Yeah. Shit. Like, so I think there's more stuff to to distract us. So it's not like you do more. It's not like you're doing more. It's just the fact you've got something else there to... I think so, yeah. More so that... Distract you you from doing stuff. There's not a lot of people out there that necessarily do more physical stuff they used to do. Plenty of people sit around and do nothing. But I think there's stuff like that. You know, look, look at that video, you know, you sit down and play a video game. You know, yeah. You, you, people can get wrapped in there for hours and hours and hours. And then, like I said, it's chewing up that, that time as where there was less of that. So there's less wasted time. Yeah. Well, we, well, we wasted time doing other things like getting ourselves into trouble. So yes, so, so instead of using devices, we were rooting around. Instead of being we were destructive. Constru- <laughs> instead of constructive, you're destructive. I think we've all been there, haven't we? Well, I think, you know, well, you just sort of had to get out and out and make a bit of your own fun. And- so you become more destructive than constructive. Or you just, you're just doing stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think, like I said, the world's changed a lot. We talk about lots of different things, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we've been talking today here about uh, golf. And, yes. And how, you know, golf needs to change with the way the <clears throat> West, rest of the world's going, or otherwise it's going to... Well, we've been talking spread. to Luke Oshvager, who is the GM or director of Parkwood. Yep. And he has had this place for about, was it five or six years, he said? And massive yeah, changes since he's sort of been here and doing a lot more. Yep. And again, he's turning it more into a community centre. He's turning it more into a community base. And he, in his words, connection. Getting more people to connect in a certain way to then potentially use golf as sort of a conduit 
for more connection. Yes. And I think that's where it's sort of interesting because we're talking about bowls and bowls clubs, so lawn bowls, mm. um, and how the decline's been over the last 20 years. And that's an yep. aging thing as well, so there's more to it than just... Mm. People don't want to play, it's just the fact that there's, there's a few people getting older. So it's very, very hard to sort of keep yes, that up. and there's not that generation of enthusiasm behind that. So speaking of that, Let's and talk, let's talk a little bit about golf. When did you start playing golf? And when did I start playing golf? Just oh, because I don't think too many people know. I think the first time I hit a ball was about 24 or something. 25. So I think the first time I hit a ball, I would have been like 8 or 9. But I sort of got into it yeah. at 17, 18. Yeah, no. Yeah, right. So we're sort of later on. So lots of for starting earlier. Well, I, no, I started at 17. Yeah. Really, 17, yeah. 18. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would say, if, just like Benny and Steve, and even your girls, yeah. they've started young. Yes, good. And, and and if they take it up a bit more, yeah, seriously in the future, yeah, if yeah, they'll have more of an idea. Well, they then they've got a base there, right? Yep, yep. Of how the whole thing goes. But. So I think it's sort of interesting. But we're just going to duck back and forwards. But as we're talking about wasting time, mm. how constructive these days, instead of being destructive, how constructive these days is your wasting time, like? I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I read a lot of sort of things. Yep. Is that what you do? Or do you just watch yourself? <laughs> watch myself. So, so coming, coming up pretty soon, you're going to have that shot that um, Conrad hit from the bunker. Oh, nice. That, you, that you'd love. But, um, watch myself. Yeah, you uh, know what I mean. So, so, so you waste three hours or two hours of your time. Oh, no, it's only watching lots of different stuff. Very rare I watch myself. No, I know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a shit stepper. Unless I really want to annoy the kids. Like, I'm, I'm the big hey, screen. come on, kids. I go, let's sit down and have a lot of fun together. They go, check this out, what kids. What are you watching? I go, let's rip into some Aussie golf review. Dad, uh, check out Dad in a good shot they, today. Look, I never told them that I said some of that stuff on Aussie golf review. So they obviously watched a couple. Okay. Because I said one night to Benny, I said, I said, you want to watch a bit of Aussie golf review? And he goes, I'd love to rip in. <laughs> and started laughing. And I went, I beg your pardon? And he goes, rip in. He rip goes, in, Dad. Yeah, let's rip in and watch some. And, and then going. he just goes, son, don't you talk to me like that. What do you mean this rip in nonsense? Right. So, of course, he's there, there going, hey, Dad, I'd love to rip in and watch some. And his brother, that's only, what, two years older than him, he goes, don't forget to hit <laughs> subscribe. Smash that like button. And the like button. And if you don't like it, whatever. Hit dislike. <laughs> they, 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 they're dead set, just copying your end screen. They've, they've seen. All the way to the end. They've seen the beginning and the end. <laughs> I couldn't believe Because when he was over, over my shoulder, because I'm going to Benny, I go, what? And he goes, oh, yeah, you know, he goes, because that's what you say, rip in. And I went, all right. And then I'll see, he goes, yes. And don't forget to describe and hit the like button and hit that bell thing. He goes, and hit that bell thingy or something, and then he goes, ah, well, do you know what, if you don't like it, just hit dislike, I don't care. <laughs> Mate, you have little robots, little, little, little parrots in your house. I think it's surprising. Well, I don't think we realise how much uh, kids um, absorb and, and how much they, they do look around, because they, they sort of have a look around. Go that's right, it is pretty full on in that regard, isn't well, it? Well, that's the kids all there, I suppose. I suppose they go in and have a look and go, yeah, what's, no. what's going on here? But, yeah, mm. who knows? Yes, Maybe. it's it's interesting. It's going to be sort of interesting in regards to where we're going to be going in the future, right? You know, like, like Luke said, in regards to right now, and even years ago, it was just, give me a golf ball. Look at that, Moab, softy, Jesus. <laughs> um... As we sort of go along, we've gone from just a golf ball and, a, and, and walking around, and then we've gone into yep. carts, and now now he reckons going into carts with music and then GPSs and all that sort of stuff. It's like, mm. I know technology's come that far, but do we need that as a person? Or is it better if we have less of it? Well, the, I think I think what he's trying to say is that that's what they're used to. Well, that's what I mean. It, like it, it's it's got interesting, it I see people all the time. My, my kids walk around with the headphones in their head all the time, listening to music. Like, do you know what I mean? Until you're talking to them. There you go. And they're like, what? What'd you say? And they go, what do you want? <laughs> I go, I've been talking to you. And they go, 
Oh, man. And see, what makes it even worse these days is that there's a plugs that go in their ear and there's no cords. Yeah, so you have no idea. I know that they, yeah, I just thought they were being rude. They're your kids. And they're not being rude. They no. can't hear you. No, they're, they're just, they're just selective ears. hearing. No, they've got the things in their ears listening to music. So, I want to take my house. How, how good is that? Look, 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 look at Sophie up there. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? How, seriously, how, how good is um, Royal Pines? Oh, Royal Pines is fantastic. So, so for those that also yeah. don't know that um, the PGA is always at Royal Pines, we're always there um, next year, or sorry, this is year. Is that me again? Yeah, that's good. Oh, God, geez, you've gotten taller. Um, oh, is that Royal Queensland is going to be having the Australian PGA. RQ? Royal Queensland. Really? Yep. Well, I won't get to play there before it then. Why not? Oh, because uh, most don't like you. We've been invited so many times, mate. It's just you keep pulling the pin. No, last time I went there, I mate broke his arm. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, Timmy. Timmy we were all ready to go. I know. I know. But anyway, we'd, I think it would be interesting to, to, um, to get to RQ. I, I think it's sort of half on the cards. Half. Quarter on the cards to do a vlog there. Well, good promotion for the... So they're going to play the PGA. Australian PGA, yeah. I wonder if Greg will come back for it. Um, does Jason come back for the Australian Open? I was often to Greg. <laughs> I was about to say exactly <laughs> that. I think Greg comes back more often. Um, he might come back. Ah, oh, look. He might come back and do a bushfire appeal. Old, old Greg, he still looks pretty fit. He does. It, it, it'll be very yeah. interesting. I think... But, I saw him play there. I did too. Yep, at the, um, I think it was... 2000-ish, 2002. PGA then as well. No, Australian PGA. Australian PGA. So it was as the Australian PGA, but it was, you know, sort of that going on. Yes, yes. Yep, yep. 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 Um, it was good. Corey Payton was there. He was. See, yeah. I enjoy looking at here. So, so, so behind us right now, we, we have, like I said, out in the bar area, we've got a whole family just about to go play mini golf. Look, looking in here it's not a whole family. at their idol, what, there is Steve Richardson. There's, there's 33 red-headed kids out there, <laughs> all, all, all looking for their father. <laughs> I wish I could turn this around. Oh, so do They're I. They're all going, Dad, Dad, is that Dad? Is that Dad? <laughs> <laughs> One of Richard's pairs just, it's brilliant. So, <laughs> like, it's, it's, she's, she's shy, mate. She's, no, she's, 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 she's you just seen her hero. Hey, but I can't believe that all those kids that all had red hair. What? Why not? Look, look, look at the old man. He's got red hair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not that they, red. They're all. Did you see him clawing at the at the at the gates going? At the gates at the. Going, <laughs> going, There's me dad. <laughs> at the gates. <laughs> the gates of Oh, oh mate. Oh, this is boys in striped pajama stuff. So we're thinking we have run the show. Yeah. We can kick off at any subjects. We might go out. We might do some fun stuff. Yeah. I was thinking about yeah, maybe we could um, go and chip a few balls inside a, a bank or a building society or something. Oh, oh Jesus you Christ, that? mate! You. What do you reckon? No, oh, of course. Here we go. I, I was trying to stay away from it, <laughs> and I thought you'd have to bring it up by the end. There you go. Here's comrade shot for you, mate. This is the best shot you've ever seen. Yeah. You reckon? Yep. That's a pretty good shot. <laughs> that was a ripper. <laughs> good on you, mate. Oh, good on you, Richo. Mate, I tell because he said to me, he goes, mate, he goes, I really don't know what to do here, I'm pretty nervous. I said, I'll talk you through it, young fella. He goes, all right, if you can do that, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. And he's my shot, what, I shank him into the water. But... Oh, that looks pretty solid too. I just... Mate, you're a machine. So, so guys that are just that. listening straight to the bunker. So what Richo was referring to then was um, protesters to the, was it bank or was it a bank? Well, I think it was a bank, just fun of it. We don't, yeah. what, what could we protest? I wouldn't protest anything apart from maybe more sunlight. But then even then, then the cows, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everything's an issue. It doesn't matter what you do. Don't change anything, people. Stay the way it is or go backwards and then there's nothing to um, protest about. So maybe if we went back, say, a couple of thousand years ago, CO2 levels were high now. I don't know if we... Should we do that? They were pretty high back then. I don't know why. Do you reckon it was just the... Um, maybe our, our digestive tracts 
were so bad as 3,000 year old people, or sorry. Too much gas. Yeah, so we were, or there's too many cows, or there's too many um, buffaloes. Maybe there was Keep more fires. Candles. I was just about to say. So, so yeah. Instead of electricity, there was, there was more more fires. You're burning trees down. You were releasing the carbon in the fires. So I mean, I don't know. But anyway, just sort of that little dig was at um, protesters in a bank who sponsor Roger Federer. They're playing tennis in said bank. I think it was. I think it was a bank. Yeah. Oh. It was, it was in an establishment. Bank. Yeah, they were. Yes, so they lent money, and then of course these people were protesting that because they lent money to people who have something to do with fossil fuels. And at the end of the day, we've got a climate emergency, guys. Have, I don't know if you've heard, we've got a climate emergency. We're dead in 17 days. So by the time this comes out, we're already we'll, gone. We'll, we'll be dead. Thank God for that. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I know. Because the world really doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. So your mate Greta. What do you, what, what's the go? What's the go with you and Greta? You've had a falling out? No, we're going right. Pretty solid. Oh yeah? Are you exclusive? No, not like that, but we sort of, we're fighting the same cause. What's the, <laughs> we're fighting the same cause? Yeah, yeah. What's the cause? Um, stuff. You're fighting climate change. You, you do agree on one thing though, hey? Oh, climate thanks. change. Climate change is always going to happen. It's 100% real. Yes. It's just how much we've made it, I don't know. And, and how much you can turn around of it, even if we have made it, I don't know. Well, you look at people's lives, you're saying they're all comfortable. I mean, everyone stands there and goes, yeah, you're, you're right. No one's going to give up their phone, their TV. You know, yep, I agree with you. <laughs> I'm going to France next week. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So yeah. everyone, I, I don't know, unless you're going to back it up with, with hard things of, do you know what I mean? We encourage people to play golf, be part of golf, and you know what, we go out and play golf and be part of golf. That's right. Do you know what I mean? You can't do it without... Doing? So, so what? We'll, do you know what I mean? Like, so it's basically we'll, you can't talk about it, you have to be doing it. Well... Well, your mate Greta is. She's, she's stopping school and going around in a carbon boat, you know, instead of course, instead of uses, creating uses more energy than to make steel. <laughs> and I could never support that. Also, you're a robo, wooden robo. Chop down your own bloody tree. I was a sheet metal worker. It's, it's all you people that come along and ruin my industry. Really? Yeah, with your fancy machines and you're happy to punch out, make plastics and whatever else. Well, good honest hard workers making shit out of metal. The <laughs> shit out of stuff. Hey, you killed us. Mate, you know, sometimes it's just how it works. You know, sometimes you've got to kill the old to get the new in. People still mm. need stuff. Still, people still need jobs. I don't know. But just like you said, I mean, okay, if, 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 if that is all of us doing it, if it is us Mate, doing I it, hope, I and hope, us having the, all I this hope coffee, the whole thing goes. I hope cars go, I hope everything goes, because I can't wait to roll out in the horse balloons <laughs> because there'll be no ambulances because we'll have no petrol so I'll have to ride out in a horse balloons okay eh? and never then heard I'll be able to go eh? going to take my <laughs> horse balloons to the old town road can you imagine <laughs> hey? and you imagine uh... that hey? They'll say your siren's not very loud. I'll say the horse yeah. gets a bit frightened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed. I can only go, ew, ew. I can't go, ew, because he said he starts bucking and throwing me off. Well, I mean, you're right. Like, I mean, if you That's if bad. you were to make a siren noise yeah. and the horse gets scared, I'm sure the way the world's going, the people will get scared. So the only way you can do a siren is by going like this jazz hand style yeah. Yeah. so that, you, you know, people know that you're clapping or you're... <laughs> Look, you make a noise. It, I think it makes perfect sense. We decrease fossil fuels on the planet, right? Would you take them out of I the can ground? Take, I can take the horses. They don't have to run in the Melbourne Cup anymore. So That's true. <laughs> because they, they'd rather be out helping people. Sounds like it. Because they love people. So they'd love. Yep. they'd be rather out helping people. Because they'd, yep. they'd be in horse bullets. <laughs> right? So they could get out there and help people. Yeah. Right? Cats. Oh, what would you do with cats? <laughs> So, so, 
I thought when you get to the hospital, he'd be so dizzy, he'd need a bit of a rest. So just, just so you'd have a little spot just, where the just cat Just calm down for a sec, mate. Holy you, snappers. You'll be all right, mate. I'm, I'm glad we were only going two k's down the road and weren't 30. Oh, Imagine mate. how I would have been dizzy I would have been then. How many cats do you reckon you'd go to? Just one with one good solid tail. <laughs> You'd probably oh. you'd have to breed them and test them. I mean, you wouldn't you? You'd go. Which cat would have the strongest? Oh. <laughs> Which cat would have the strongest tail? Oh, I don't know. And speaking of that, I mean, we've been going for probably an hour. I mean, we've probably got to go. But again, don't fuck with yeah, cats. Yeah, well, that, that don't that, fuck with cats. Have, has, have you seen it? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, have you seen it? Hopefully, yeah. They're interesting. You know what yes. I mean, mate? If old mate is ju- all he's doing is giving the cat a bath. You know what I mean? He's giving the cat a bath and you're swinging these bloody things around your head, mate. I reckon they'll be after you soon. No, that cat will be employed. <laughs> I don't know what people are about. I'd give him some nice little bit of milk and some piggies. Something to he gave out. him water. And, and something nice for his throat. Oh. He'd, be <laughs> he'd be a bit hoarse. A bit hoarse? No. <laughs> the horse <ones. laughs> Uh, You've got the horse bullets with a cat who's a bit hoarse from bloody soul. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just trying to employ lots of different things. Okay, places. so where do the dogs like, oh. fit in? Where do the dogs fit into your horse bullets thing? Oh, maybe it's just security. Security, yeah, yeah good call. Because you're yeah. in this day and age, we think it's a bit violent. Mm-hmm. Do you know, people like to swear us. And we could train them. We could train them to attack people when they swear us. So I'd encourage that. Mate, swear at me all you want. <laughs> 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 they go, you're a dickhead. Yeah. The dog goes, oh, Ch- Chief over here just. Oh, and the dog rips their face off. What happened? Oh, face know. off? Did you like that movie? Yeah, it was different. It was Nicholas right. Cage? Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? these big dogs. Yeah. Dogs of hell. Unleash the dogs of hell. Yeah, you would do that just so you could be like Rusty Crowe. There we go. Come on, mate. I'm, <laughs> I'm not coming in there unless you call me a dickhead. Oh, I'm my command. Unleash mate. hell. As soon as he went, you're a dickhead. Poof. These two dogs There's are going, my Foof! You, mate. So we could employ lots of different people. Yeah? I don't know, mate. I, I, think, I, think, I think you're onto something. Well, we're going to have to do something. Well, there'll be nothing else. But like you said, if, if those horses yeah. aren't being able to end horse races anymore, then you need to utilise them for something. Or else what? They'll be what? Well, they'll become extinct. What happens is people get, suffer from a lot of depression and anxiety if they feel that they're not useful. So, so you're you saying the horse these, would? Well, you'd have all these depressed horses because they go, I used to be useful, people used to be able to bet on me and make some money, and now I I, I, I used to be used as horse racing and also dog meat, but, and now I'm not being used for anything. Now I feel useless. And I suppose they probably would too. Yeah. Now, yeah. And then what happens? Then, then, then what do you do with this depressed horse brigade? You know what I mean? Well, the police will leave one. Okay, so what? Yeah. So they'll obviously get Maccabi B. Or <laughs> well, that what was the other horse, it was pretty quick. One of the races. <laughs> Freak. Winks. <laughs> yeah. So they get winks because it, it, it had a fair bit of toe in it. It, it went alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do you know what? It, I know where you go. It's like. And it, it's all a little police, man. You could put them on the greyhounds. <laughs> So for those countries that got sort of like oh. midgets and stuff, oh. we still. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say midgets anymore. <laughs> Why not? Is that... Well, mate, I... what do they call them? I don't know. It's political Little correctness. People. Little people. That's exactly <laughs> right. Mate, do you know what? Can someone send me a dictionary of modern terms or some shit? Like, when did we stop saying Sheila midgets? Look, love. Yeah, look oh, at look. Her. she's waving to me. I know. No, she's and, not too completely normal. And, and, and she's, yeah, she's lovely. lovely. She's lovely. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, do, do, do you know? Yes, yes. Tiny you, pet. And that, and no, that, tiny homes. Do you watch tiny No, homes? I don't, but hang oh, on. How hang on, hang on. I'm going to build but, a tiny home. But before you go on, and that, that reminds me, you remind me of Norm MacDonald. Do you know Norm MacDonald is, the comedian? Norm MacDonald. No. He had the Norm show. Well, Norman Gunston? No, come on. He, he was exactly that. It was exactly that. Norman Gunston? <laughs> no, no, no. Norm MacDonald. Norm Macdonald is probably one of the funniest dudes on the planet. Where's he from? He's an American. Oh, Mate, he is just a different cat. He was on the Howard Stern show, right? And he, and he was saying something like, you would have to be spastic, he went to say. You're so sorry. We used to use that a lot too. I, do, I know, I know. That was my next word I was going to use. I know, and that's why I thought I had to bring it up. He goes, you'd have to be spastic. 
a retard, he said, because he thought you're not allowed to use spastic anymore, so he uses retarded. You'd have to be retarded. And then yeah. he got in the shit for it. I know, because his words keep changing. Well, but so, he's then gone. Anyway, this is where it becomes even funnier. <clears throat> he goes, oh, sp- oh, retard, which was even worse, right? And then he had yeah. to go on The View. So he had to go on the show with Whoopi Goldberg and everything and talk about his book or a new show about the startup. And they sort of bought that up and blah, 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 blah. And mate, he was in a different world, just ch- <laughs> eating lollies. And, and then he goes, oh, I, I barely... Anyway, I don't know how the joke went. It wasn't even a joke, but he goes... I barely have consensual sex these days anyway. <laughs> like in front of all these women. And they, they all laughed, right? They all laughed. And then afterwards they started to criticise him because of the, a stupid joke. Yeah. Right? So it's like you have just said a joke that people have laughed at. Now suddenly, oh, because other people pipe up, you didn't pipe up at well, the Well, I think that's one of, the, one of the problems, isn't it? You see some stuff... And it's not until all those comments come through. Then it's like, ooh, and now it's so time to jump on. And then suddenly gets this and people go, oh, hang on a minute. I thought that was really funny. And I yeah. actually commented it, like, positively. Yeah, it was and funny. And said, I thought that was funny. And now that someone said something else, maybe I shouldn't have. Yep, so whoops. maybe I should get on that fan wave. Well, that's so tribal. Do you know? That's the thing. It's so tribal. Tribal. Well, it's so tribal. It's because they're going, then I better go. Yes, yes. Or, so or I think sometimes some things are just... I, I believe we're the wolf pack. We're, we're out in front. We're, we're just leading. We're not the oh, sheep. At the back. With our horses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got no idea where, well, where we are. They should rope in a couple of cheetahs. Cheetahs? Yeah, well, they, they hammer and tong it, don't they? Yeah, but Can we, we say hammer and tong? No. Well, are you kidding me? Doesn't that, have, that have, doesn't that have something to do with the Industrial Revolution where somebody was getting hammered and I'm, I'm so confused. Do you know, look at Steve-O. Plays bowls. Won three hams over Christmas. <laughs> oh, two in the raffles. You mean real hams or are you hamming something you else? You can't do that, can you? No. Which way do you do it? Oh, I don't know. So, that I don't think you're even allowed to do that anymore. Well, it, it, that doesn't even look right. Like, so you won <laughs> two in the raffles, <laughs> right? And he won one in the competition, <laughs> right? Yeah, he's all so, over it. Like, yeah, yeah, he's all over so it. So, three all over <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's true. Because you can't so, go three. So you happen. should have gone like this and then like this. Or you got to go one in the game, two in that, and then went three. Two, two in the raffles. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, you're all over he it. He won so People goes, are listening. Like, what are they doing? He goes. He goes. <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> Mate, your family and life is just a, a, a comedy. We really he need goes, to have a He goes. He goes. I've, I've brought home the bike. But he goes. Am I allowed to say that? God, you're allowed I to go, say whatever you want, know. mate. No, I don't know. Apparently, they don't say that now. I've brought home the. No, apparently everything's okay until somebody picks you up on it. All right, because they've been saying something else. You bring home the, I don't know, chuckle wood or something. Uh, the timber. It's, it's something else, yeah. Yeah, so we can't say that. Oh, mate. The, the, the way the world... Anyway, the world is brilliant. It'll all work itself out eventually. Well, it's good. People are really good. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know... Well, Billy Connolly put it the best of them. What's that? When a plane crashes here and you put your life vest on, they'll, they'll think no, that there no, used to he, be a river he here? he thought that the world was a wonderful place and that people were really good. Um, if religion just kept its nose out of things, we'd be even better. Okay, now look, no, I'm, no. I'm not religious, but again, like way I look at it is religion, if you were to live by the commandments or the decencies of said religions, which is generally for most, then you're probably going to do all right. And you're probably going to be a decent person. Yeah. Right? I don't know if we need God's God or whatever, Vishnu or bloody Shiva or whatever, to make it be more right. No, I'm not really. For, no, I'm not much sort of into I just, But I don't know enough I about I just think if you're... Anyway. You're just trying... Most people know what's right and what's wrong. And yeah. The, you go from there and... Oh, I have a look. Jeez, isn't he a good looking dude? He's, he's a good looking fella. Anyway. But anyway, I think that's going to be sort of enough. The camera's starting to run out of batteries and everything like that. It's like look, that we've old been through joke, three parts it? of watching this. Hey? It's like that old joke, but. Hey? What old joke? Look, when you kids, stick your finger in. The kids want to know. 
Why does Jesus live down the toilet? Oh, Jesus, help me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love that one. I'm dripping night out. Hey, Dad, how come Jesus lives in the toilet? Because oh, you always seem to be talking You're to You're talking him to Jesus. When you come home from the pub. <laughs> Oh, help me, Jesus. And on that note, that's where we finish <laughs> off the very first episode of 2OB. Look, <laughs> if you have anything we want to talk about, it'll just be a bit of anything. Don't really ask us questions. Maybe give us something to talk about if you wish. If it's on YouTube, you're watching yeah, even subjects, whatever. Anything. Yep. Like, at the end of the day, it's going to be us talking shit and hopefully in the future getting some guests. But again, this has taken, what, an hour, hour and a half? To get people away from their doings in life might be a little harder, but we will endeavour to do so. I think so. we will. Look, we've got some guests behind us. I know. Oh, hello, Richard. How are you going? Uh, what, you know, I can't believe you didn't throw your hat up or your head cover up there and to see what sort of wind it is. Are you going to hit a good shot here, you reckon? Probably not. <laughs> Probably oh, that not. was a bit more controlled, that swing. That was a really controlled swing. Oh, no. He's missed right. That's gone. That is raw pines for you. Guys, thanks for checking out the YouTube video. Thanks for checking out uh, this on uh, podcast apps anywhere it is. I got no idea where it's going to be. Yeah, what's a podcast? I got no idea. Um, I know. You just said something about it. Yep, I, I, thought, I said podcast, you I, said Bluetooth, and we still have no idea. Well, I thought it was put in the coffee machine. Little pods. Oh, That's hey. about right. You do have. See, see, he's got an espresso. It costs a lot of money. No, I got the uh, Aldi one. The Aldi yeah. One, mate. <laughs> hey. Which is just as good. I'll have a break out and spend some good money. Yeah, one day. Yeah. On the pump. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Um, we'll see you next time. But like I said, do you have anything you want us to cover in any way, shape, or form? Um, we're not gonna. We're not gonna try to swear. But if we swear in what we say, we're not gonna beep any of it out. So, if there is some sensitive ears, then I apologise a little bit, but it's not gonna change. That would have to be one of the most beautiful groups. I've ever seen playing golf together. You reckon? Yep. You, Conrad, softy hanging around, Sarah Kemp, Sophie Walker, and in the far distance there was uh, Dame. You watch. Where it, go like, and look this to the end, and you'll see four very lovely people. Yep. Yep. No, no, you, you're right. We had um, over there. Had, had Dame. They had winners. Dame Laura Davies. Laura Davies was there at the same time. Maybe we should have uh, got her out. But look, yes. at, at the end of the day, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the podcast. But behind us, we've had the three parts of Sarah Kemp, Sophie Walker, at Royal Pines going on and behind us. So I'm wearing that shirt next week. Okay, next time we film. There you go. It. I know, mate. Look. I know. It's a good looking shirt. I love Conrad. He's Conrad. Good, good young fella. Conrad's a good fella. He's, he's back right now. We need to try yep. to catch up. It's just, I think he's heading back to the States pretty soon. And also, when we film this, uh, Jimmy just had his first training event as well. Yes. And yep. Jake, uh, the first for the year. Jimmy first come eighth, year. shot yep. one under. And Jake, sort of around the average, needs to be a bit better than what it is, but around the average. Yep. So, um, yeah, at the end of the day, we hope Jimmy does really well during his traineeship. And well, first of all, Get in the swing of things. He'll go right. Jimmy's a good golfer, so we so his playing won't be too bad. It's just been out of school for a couple of years, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. Yep. His just make sure he gets stuck in, does assignments. Mm. Like I said, some people fly through them because they're more that way inclined. Um, if you have people who were saying before, like Kylie Close, that's yep. obviously done a lot of study and gone back again again to do a masters. Yeah. Um, so that side of it is. The, those people generally set themselves out well and put the time aside that yes. they need to and are very structured and well. So ordered. time management wise is much yep. better. So Jimmy does just to make sure he does that and mm. doesn't get sidetracked. Yes, that's so true. Yep. Have a look at the good looking group there. You're not wrong, mate. You're not wrong. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Bloody lovely. Thank you, Richo. Do you know, do you know you. how many times people see that photo and say to me, oh, wasn't that a, a lovely, um, was that yours and Conrad's wives with you, was it? <laughs> God, mate, you've got no idea. All right, that's uh, enough. That's it. Th thanks for Luke and Ben and everybody down here at Parkwood uh, Village. Get down here, check mate. it, check it, the top swing, <clears throat> top golf swing suite. Yep. 
uh, down here and ch check out the stuff that we've sort of been doing hopefully over the last you know, few and years. And as you can see, it can all be changed to a TV. So yep. if you come down here, uh, young Ben. Yep, Ben. Ask young, Ben. Young Canadian so, Ben. look, any chance we can... Which Aussie golf review? Rip in Aussie golf review. Don't do it. Right. If, look, okay. If you come down and and, and ask the first for ben, person that asks ask Ben yeah, to yep. put Aussie golf reviewer on here in the swing suite, right? They get a free drink. At least a free drink. I'm sure we can organise with Ben. Okay. For a free drink. Yep. Do it. All right. So if anybody wishes to, we'll do it. Oh. Oh, look. This What's post. Oh, Insta there? post. Well, it, there's no point in turning the camera around because, you know, there's only a few people that are going to see it. Anyway. Yep. Yep. Calm down. I I calm down. I'm out of here. I see you guys. You know what she said? I we'll see you next time. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> hey, he goes, she goes, I thought you were taking a picture of me. He goes, no, those two boys in there. <laughs> You're an idiot. Right, yeah. All right. Beautiful. Let's go. We've been out of bounds forever. We've got to do a testimonial for Ben after this. Who? Yep. Ped's going to do a testimonial. What's a testimonial? Jeez, how good is Parkwood? Oh, 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 I thought testimonials were to die. Where you remove one of your nuts. What, what's it called when you die? Testimonial? Yeah, it is. A t yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Do right. people come and talk? Yeah, that's, yeah. isn't it obituary? Oh, I mean, that's, the, I mean, that's at your funeral. Testimonial. Oh, no, testimonial sort of when you retire. So when I retire, you'll put on a testimonial dinner and stuff and everyone will come and talk. Yeah, yeah, we'll roast right. you. We'll roast you. Yeah, roast yeah, but that's not a testimony. The Richo roast. roast. Yep, yep. Sophie will be able to come and tell... Uh, sorry, Sarah will be able to come and tell a story about our little conversation. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I bet you she can remember it word for word. Too. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it. And don't worry, it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. See ya. That's it. Thank you. We've been out of bounds. I don't know. What's our sign-off going to be? 2-O-B. I got no idea. See you guys. Beautiful.